Hello, Lauren Craig here for What's the Green Deal? Now you may be coming into London Drugs looking for one of these, and if you're looking for the 75 or 100 watt varieties, you may find they're a little hard to get. That's because they're being phased out in favor of this, the compact fluorescent light bulb. A compact fluorescent bulb is a fluorescent tube, like the ones in commercial lights, but twisted up into a nice bulb-like shape to fit your light fixtures at home. Inside the base is an electronic ballast, circuits that power the light from your household current. The tube part is filled with an inert gas, blended with a tiny bit of mercury vapor. When stimulated by the electricity from the ballast, the gas causes the phosphorescent coating inside the tube to glow. Now these little spiral babies have some definite advantages, up to 75% more power efficient, and they last up to 10 times as long as one of these, up to 5 or 6 years before you need to replace it. A brand new CFL bulb contains about 5 milligrams of mercury, about enough to cover the tip of a ballpoint pen. So you don't just want to chuck an old CFL in the trash. That's why London Drugs is a light recycled drop-off location. You can bring any CFL or fluorescent tube up to 4 feet long to your local store for recycling. Wrap your old CFLs in plastic and maybe put them in a box for easy transportation. For bigger bulbs, use plastic or cardboard to help protect them. If you accidentally break a fluorescent bulb, Health Canada has posted instructions for cleaning up a broken CFL on their website. Follow these recommendations, package up the pieces in an airtight container, and London Drugs will take back the broken CFLs for recycling as well. So just how are CFLs recycled? I asked Vineet Nath from Product Care to explain. The bulbs are essentially put onto a conveyor belt up to this large uh, metal crusher, you could say, and the bulbs are actually crushed. Now, of course, once they're crushed, there's this uh, phosphorus powder that's sort of emitted into the air, so that has to be contained within this uh, carbon filter system, so that sort of filters the air. And then the materials are actually sent forth and separated into different stages. So the aluminum goes one place, the glass goes another, the mercury is somewhere else, and then the phosphorus powder. Today's CFL bulbs come in warm light colors and there are even models designed for dimmer switches. But CFLs are not your only energy saving light option. On the London Drugs shelf you'll also see LED bulbs. LED stands for light emitting diode. A light emitting diode is a semiconductor that irradiates electroluminescence when current passes through it in the forward direction. Uh, one of the uh, alternatives to the CFL bulb is the new LED bulb which functions very similar to an incandescent light. Uh, they are suitable for lights that have a dimmer switch on them. They're suitable for tri lights. The lifespan on these can be up to um, 25,000 hours, which is equivalent to 15 to 20 years. So there's a tremendous lifespan to them. Right now, they are at a, quite a high price point, but we're hoping that as people become more familiar with them, and as they adopt to them that the prices will uh, eventually come down. So is all this lighting hassle worth it? Well, besides the savings on your energy bill, according to some estimates, each CFL bulb could save up to a third of a ton of greenhouse gas emissions over its lifetime, compared to incandescent bulbs. And LEDs would save even more. So when that light goes out, replacing it with a more energy efficient solution could be the brightest idea you have. Just remember when you're done with a compact fluorescent, bring it back to London Drugs to be recycled responsibly. And that's the real green deal.